We have this movie here. I am a dog person. I'm also a Channing Tatum person. Like this guy? Yeah, which one are you more of? I did. I was wondering, <laughs> sitting next to you. Well, they're both sexy on a leash. So. <laughs> 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 You're like, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Dick's, uh, Pixie's is fine as hell when you put on a leash. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. My, my brother does not like that dog uh, sometimes because he said, man, Pixie. Now, this is the reason. Pixie sound too much like Dixie. That's some racist shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow. That is right. uh, that, reach. That, that sounds like one of your ads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, people. I'm. Uh, I've always admired uh, Channing Tatum. I've always thought it is a guy who started out as not the best actor out there, who ended up being one of the most charism- charismatic guys on screen. You know, he is very talented. The man can dance, probably can rap. And as I said, you know, he's just just a real charming guy on screen. Fine as hell, too. I ain't gonna lie. He's one of the guys. He's a handsome man. He's a handsome man. Handsome man. Just saw the first movie he did ever, Coach Carter, when I was in Waco. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that was his first film. So this man has come from being just part of the ensemble as a very young man in Coach Carter to now co directing mm-hmm. his own film. Mm. And that is the movie Dog. And being that I am a dog person, you know, you think that I, and being that I am a fan of Channing Tatum, you think that I would, uh, this is this is my movie right here. This is they you know what? They made this movie for me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How can we lure Corey into this into this theater? And guarantee a mm-hmm. full price review right mm-hmm. here. Well, we're just gonna talk about this real quick because I did want to mention this. We saw it and they, they, they did not give us a chance to talk about it because mm-hmm. they would not the embargo was that Friday or late that Thursday. Late Thursday. When we yeah. did we, wow. we did not have any shows to do that with. But you know, this is something that I can, I can tell you right now. It does not need a long review. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let's take a look at the trailer, and we'll come back and have just a really quick discussion about dog. Easy. What are y'all so scared of? Come on, out, bitch. <laughs> I like the way she pushed you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, get your hands off my head. <laughs> You're definitely not the girl I thought I'd be in the tub with, but I'll take what I can get at this point, I guess. Oh, me and Pixie have done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have. She's so small that yeah, 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 I've had easy. I've had to like I've used her as a sponge <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> and had to hold her once you pull the plug out of the tub. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Nah, you know. Here, look. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Uh, fan of Channing Tatum. Fan of dogs. Uh, so you, you know, the, I feel bad going to this with some complaints because, you know, when I when I saw this, first of all, a lot of this is a road trip. What you have here is a dog who, she's a combat dog. And she lost her owner. How? Well, you'll have to see the movie. But, of course, since she lost her owner, she's a problem. But the military still requires her to go to this funeral because the family of the deceased soldier wants his dog at the funeral. But with the owner gone, this dog doesn't get along with a lot of people. This dog is considered to be dangerous by some people. So the sad thing is this dog is going to be heading to her death after the funeral is done. And they should just make two graves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's right next to each other. And Channing Tatum, he's been out the game for a while with the military. You know, I, th- I, I don't know. What, what do you know? What he is in this? Is he a ranger or something? Yeah, he's a ranger, and yeah. he's suffered some uh, brain damage. Yeah, and ever since he suffered the brain damage, he's seen unfit to be in the military. Mm. But if he can prove himself with this job right here, and he has been trying hard to prove that he's worthy of getting back in, then maybe, maybe somebody might be able to make a call to somebody important and get him back in there. Um, and that's the way he sees it. This is a job. This dog isn't his. What they do with this dog when he takes her back is what they do. Even though he had a funness for the dog at one time, it definitely has a funness for the soldier that has fallen. But thing is, is that this is a road trip movie, and it's the dog and Channing Tatum for... Uh, being alone for a lot of the film, and it's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, Channing Tatum by himself talking to the dog, and there's a lot of attempts at comedy with that that don't always work. Depictions of some people are very shallow. This is not a political thing when I'm saying this. This is not me taking sides or anything. I'm just telling you what I think. I've said this with uh, I've said this with other things. You know the way they they they. Uh, shown conservative people sometimes mm-hmm. you know if you go if you go to one sided that's like okay that's just bad storytelling yeah uh they have a bunch they, he goes to oregon and there's a bunch of liberal people there and they're all about crystals and being hippies and <laughs> you know oh look at that hillbilly they are terrible that it's a cartoon 
Yeah. <laughs> those 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 people from Portland. <laughs> yeah, Port yeah, those, yeah, Portlandia. <laughs> yeah, like you have an idea of, you know, how liberal they can be or flaky, but they take it to a level that's cartoonish. I mean, you can get a whole example of how this movie is when you saw in the trailer Channing Tatum playing the blind guy. I mean, they gave away the joke in there, and the punchline is not that funny because you've seen it before. You know, you're revealed as a fraud. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, my eyesight. I've come back. I've seen that joke so many times. That whole before. vignette I thought was really fucked up and not not only not funny, <laughs> but just so like, wow, we jump on somebody who does stolen valor with, with no mercy. Yeah, and, and what he's doing is another form of that, and they just treat it like, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But when they stop trying too hard and they actually focus on the more serious parts with Channing Tatum and the dog, they get they focus more on the heart with Channing Tatum and the dog. It works a lot better, and they ease back on that as they as the movie goes along. Uh, and Sometimes you can stick your landing well enough to where it can work. You know, there's a whole scene in here. Do you know this this this, this actor's name? Because I know he was. If it's who I'm thinking of, this guy was putting movies as the fat guy. Yeah, oh, that's e him. Ethan Supley. Yeah, that's him. E okay, yeah, man. There's a whole sequence with him that is so touching, man. Because not only does the dog does the dog have problems, and if the dog doesn't get help, that dog is gone. But you know. Channing Tatum has problems too. And it is one of those movies where, well, they'll get to their problems together. But that whole sequence with him and Channing Tatum, and you know, that felt really sincere. That felt cool. And they finally start getting to the end of the movie and the resolution. And the resolution could have been a whole lot sappier. Uh, they handle it well enough to where they don't do it with too much, uh, and not, they don't make it too corny. They don't make it too emotional. It's just handled pretty well. Uh, this movie has its heart in the right place. And, and it's trying to be sweet and heartful. And I think that for the most part, it falls short almost every time. I wanted to love it. I didn't, but I couldn't help but go like, ah, yeah, it's just not that good. It's not what it wants to be. No, I don't love it. Don't love it at all. But I did like it. I did like it. And I, you know, I did feel a little bit moved out of it. Uh, I think it'd be good for families to go to. It's, keep in mind, though, it's... I think this is PG-13, I mean, our PG, but it's it's not as PG as you think it is. It's actually a little bit of edgy stuff in there, which might not make it completely, like, family-friendly for some people out there who are that protective or sensitive of their kids. But other than that, I think it functions more as a family film. So, you know, that's the way I would say go see it, if you go see it at a theater. Uh, you go with a, somebody who loves dogs, you got a girl that you want to go see a nice date movie with, <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, you know, let's go see the dog movie that's not going to offend anybody, you know, <laughs> or take the kids if you want to. And there's a lot of uh, military pride in there, so I know that there'll be some soldiers and family, uh, military families that'll see this that will relate to this and be completely cool with it. But also, I can see, because I felt very much like you did at the beginning, and at very many spots in the movie, I could see that with other people too. So, you know, it's not something I can recommend to everybody out there.